Yo, what up guys, Bricks 5D here. In this video, I want to take a look at my Spider Hat 10 team again. Yes, I've originally put out a video that I'll pin right here to show you when I built my first Spider 10 Hat team that involved one of those Hex placing champion and the boss of the spider kind of took a lot of damage from that hex apparently that was a bug and playroom raid finally fixed that bug and it turns out my old spider 10 team was no longer working since that fusion that we used it the first time i was happy to see that i could farm the spider i could farm the dragon and i could farm the ice golem all on hard stage 10 but seeing that the spider was fixed and now um, i can no longer use that same team it was kind of sad because I've tasted what could come off farming spider 10, those sweet mythical gear that could possibly make your accessories no longer require you to keep any 6 star rare pieces and or be very selective about the um, epic pieces you keep. You begin to even sell a lot of epic pieces because now you need space to farm mythical gear or better legendary gear for accessories. So. I was kind of really really happy with this hat stage and check out the amount of silver that we could also obtain from here i was getting closer to 100 million silver by selling all the trash we get from here yes you sell you get a lot of silver from um, farming these stages and of selling the trash accessories so going back to stage and 25 or 24 wasn't really for me because the changes they made to the spider made my team no longer work so today a new spider tournament launched which also aligns with a dungeon divers which i could farm and get some anniversary and um, titan anniversary points i was like i'm not gonna skip out on those teams let me go in and fix my spider team find a new bunch of champions that can beat this new fixed spider and that's what this video is all about so if you watch the video the other video that i put out which involved me trailer live being and a nuka and maybe a reset champion and now this will be the replacement i might even use the same <laughs> the same um what do you call it now the same um thumbnail for both videos because it's gonna be replacing that one so all right let me head over there and run a test run and show you the team that can do it now i know what you're thinking legendary legendary big nooks big nooks yes yes i'll give that disclaimer again that spider had 10 content it's not for a newer player who has been playing for a year or two it's for those end game players who have been playing for three years or more because it's, it requires specific champions, it requires specific gear, it requires um, the best accessories, the best of the best basically. If you can reach these stats, you cannot take down this boss. If you, can, if you can reach the speed requirements, you cannot take down this hard stage 10. So you're better off farming stage 1 to 5. So even if you're farming stage 1 to 5 of this hard 10, it's still better than 25 and 24 of normal so this is the team that can do it nobody complained in the comment about using legendaries because like i said this is an end end game content if you don't have a leader by now you should not be in hard 10. i'm yet to see any content creator put out a video about using only epics for this but i'm sure they can be get it done i'm sure i just don't have that type of time to put gear that is required on my legendaries and put it on an epic just to showcase in a video no even if it's an epic it still requires crazy gear to make it happen so basically this spider takes um, from the boss guide if you click and check a look at, take a look at it this spider takes a lot of damage when the spiderlings go down you can bring hp bone right here you can bring any of that just kill the spiderlings and the boss will take damage so most of who put um, hex on their champions and that was the bug and it was fixed they put hex on their champions when you place hex on your champion by hitting the spider um queen herself the um her spiderlings will take damage and will die so that's also another viable strategy i decided not to go with hex anymore mitrella is not on my team anymore as you can see right now we're just going to nuke down the spiderlings and from each of them that goes down how much damage does she take let's see damage from skill skill no that's not it whenever tainted spiderlings dies inflicts a damage to tainted scavage equal to three percent of her max hp so that's 10 30 percent i think so she's taking 30 percent because there are what 10 spider links let me be sure spawns two spider links spawns for maximum 10 yes i'm right so 10 times three that's 30 percent by killing each spider links plus the damage you're dealing directly to her so you should be able to do 50% of her HP the first time and then 
the second time when you reset because you do need a champion to reset your abilities like um, I'm using Kaima here. I see some people also using what's her name, Yumeko, for the skill reset. And once you do reset, you can then go again and finish the rest of her 50% HP. 30% from scaling the spider links, then 20% of your at least your damage should be up to 20% crit damage, crit rate, and attack or HP in case of this champion right here. This is the first time I'm actually using this champion in battle was his face. Um, husk so maybe i'll do a champion specific champion guide about him because i just finished farming his masteries just so i can use him in spider so right on time all right i've done delaying i've showed you what the champions i can use here which champions can you replace if you do not have this specific ones i'll request require that you go to el Hades website check out the team optimizer right here raid optimizer dot el dot com click team optimizer you can find this page where you can see the spider stats fist speed right there 245 that's the only thing that is important in this fight just know that the spider speed is 245 so you should build your champions or have somebody in the leader slot in this case i'm using somebody in the leader slot to bring me an additional 19 percent speed aura to all my champions who do not have up to 245 and also have increased speed right here coming in from lydia which means these champions who even after adding 19% to their speed, they are still not fast <laughs> enough to go before the spider. This increased speed can help them take that turn that they need before the spider, link, the spider boss can take a turn. So the spider links are slow, but the spider, the mother herself, she's kind of fast, 245 speed. There are not a lot of nukas in raid who build up to 200, 220, 240 speed. So if you don't have somebody in the leader slot, you might want to build up to this speed. So that's just something to note that some people don't build up to this speed <clears throat> can build 200 220 but they have a revive on death so if i click right here and see which team will be suggested to me you see some people using revive on death champion like um what's her face i forget this champion's name because i've never used that in battle but so some people use that champion and um, another option right here for a champion i recently used in content let me head over to my inventory and show her off some people also use her i thought they were using these champions for increased attack but apparently um sky touch shaman she's being used for this her revive on death skill so uh, i didn't build that team that would be so slow that the spider will take a turn they'll revive themselves before they now take a turn so i guess that's one thing that is being suggested a lot right here people are using revive on dead but if somebody is using this champion in the leader slot to bring that um speed what's her name more 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 again right do i have her in my vault more again she does have the speed aura in all battles 19 percent. so any champion that you can use in your leader slot to give you that speed aura that you need it doesn't necessarily have to be a duchess that's what i'm saying i'm just using duchess right here because she brings down 19 percent and she brings um increased attack also so increased attack will be beneficial to my champions right all right let me do the run so you can see how long it takes 30 seconds 35 seconds it's fine i'm not trying to do a speed run i'm just trying to do a hundred percent successful run so i think one time i saw the run go up to one minute because one of my um nukas got resisted or something i think so let's see i do the preset where everybody will use the right skill at the right time most of these champions are in relentless set so if you see them taking two turns <laughs> that's not supposed to happen that's the first time all the spiderlings die and i cannot be stunned because i have blocked the buff buff on myself now we reset with kaima and do it all again decrease defense and weaken some of the spiderlings do not have decrease defense on them but no problem we can still use the remaining ones that are alive and nuke the spider down so even the second champion did not get to take a turn so that's the run of stage 10 had i've run it five times it's successful 38 seconds right here my best time was 13 seconds when we were running the previous team that had hex 13 seconds run was crazy and they had to fix that problem it's not a problem but for them it's a problem that we are doing it too fast so i guess they had to make the spider queen not take so much damage excess damage that were coming from the spider link so let me run it one more time before we go into their stats and show you um 
which other nukas can you use in place of royal guard and um, husk people are using amiga but i don't have my amiga build with enough crit damage and crit rate to i do not play decrease events on the spider mother herself will i be able to take her down this time yes i think so that's relentless set going in there or is it pro um retaliation reset decrease defense and weaken this time around can we get the decrease defense yes we got it so i think this is a hundred percent successful run i've not failed it once since i've been doing it so i guess take down so it's it's successful 100 percent let me head over to rsl hopper and show you the stats of this champion like i said this is a end game um dungeon that requires specific champions so if you don't have a kaima you must you should have a yumeko i don't think this other champion was his name renegade will work in this place because he doesn't totally reset the cooldown of all their skills he resets it by a number of turns so let's take a look at this champion stats so you see what we are working with this is my arena um duchess who needs to be revised a little bit i just put her in the set i had at that time when i got her and was too excited and this is the set i put on her to survive sometimes with um that's unkillable and that's her stats speed 240 with the leader slot she's able to take a turn before everybody else where kaima is faster than her though kaima is in my arena 2 299 he's not a resistant kaima this is an accuracy kaima with um fast speed so that's what he brings to the team is this reset in the a3 that's his masteries also the next champion that places decrease defense and weaken is lydia like i said make sure you go get your lydia or somebody else who can do it there are, i think two or three, three other champions who do decrease defense and weaken now i'm not sure if only decrease defense will be enough for you to nook the entire spider link it should be decrease defense alone should be enough so maybe you don't even need a weaken but uh, just <laughs> to be sure i didn't test that out but maybe you can try it and see if you don't need weaken decrease defense is usually enough especially when you have two nukas taking their turn back to back they should be able to take down the uh, the spider links and then the boss will take that damage from them so that's my lydia 277 speed uh, some resistance some accuracy built for the arena 3v3 content mostly and the last champions are the nukas the first one is husk recently built i tried to use some glyph to take his uh, speed from about 219 to 224 that you're seeing Crit rate and crit damage is the most important thing on this champion. I think some of his damage is based on HP, so his, his, his HP is a little bit higher. Attack is not high on this champion. I did put a little bit of accuracy because I intend to use this champion for the Hydra boss. So, but not yet though. I've not tested him out in that content. That's why he's still in my vault. <laughs> and the next champion is um, Royal Guard. I'm not sure I have a champion guide about this one, but he is also in a relentless set. Most of my champions I intend to use in the Hydra are in a relentless set. But you could put them in Savage sets. I don't think they are what <laughs> Savage PvE champions. I don't like to use Savage set and I feel it's a waste. So I save my Savage set for my PvP champion. So there you go. Royal Guard is in a relentless set and not in a Savage set. But he works best in that type of set though. So with Lentless, they can take numerous stones on the Hydra heads and do damage more than you expect. So that's crit rate 100%, 233 crit damage, not even 250 crit damage. I'm surprised. I thought I would need up to 300 crit damage, but no. Since there are two of them, most players who use 300, 350 crit damage champions will just nuke this spider. You don't need two tons to nuke them. You might <laughs> just do it once and the spider and queen is done for. So you might not need two nukas. I need two nukas, so i would love to see that team though all right let me not make this one too long i just wanted to show an update to that previous video that i did about my spider team for hard stage 10 and this is an updated version after they fixed the bug that made the spider queen take too much damage on hex and all that stuff that was going on right here so hopefully one day i can show you my fire knight team also because that's the only content that is left that i cannot yet do on hard 10 or i've not tried to build a team for that so i'm still doing dungeon and dragon um spider now on 10 and ice golem on 10 which is a success let me know which champions in the comment you're using to beat hatch dates then if you're using this exact team or you use alternate champions based on the one that was suggested by the hell hates artifact extractor i intend to farm this for the spider 
tournament that is going on get that anniversary um points for the titan event so i can finish that up we're not letting any of these events go <laughs> this time because a fusion just ended so what else are you going to do with energy besides actually farm dungeons and begin to stack up on your and um, resources in terms of silver all right don't forget to hit like in this video if it helps you out and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more daily raid channel content later guys